Today, I'll be reacting to one of the biggest Japanese YouTubers, Sushidaman, learning and explaining the Japanese that I cherry pick along the way. Today, we're gonna be learning about all of these things. Pause if you want to. No English necessary. No English. No Japanese knowledge necessary. Let's do it. Right in the opening, this comment says, Sakadachi de. Sakadachi comes from sakadatsu, to stand up on end, hang upside down. So, Sakadachi de. Please do your self introduction while you're hanging upside down. Sushi or ramen or women? Which one do you like? Dore, which? Ski, to like. Onna is woman. Ramen, sushi. To is a particle in between this and this and this. Which one? So it's like, I know this as well as I know my name. This is very good Japanese culture reference right here. You'll hear this talked about a lot, actually. Are you a sadist or a masochist? Are you S or M? S, M, dochi desu ka? Which one are you? Dochi, which desu ka? Adding that question. Hitori shika inai inai. Shika is usually attached to a negative ending, um, a negative verb, nothing but or except for no more than. There isn't more than one person. Hitori, one person, shika, except for inai, or that it doesn't exist. Weird way to try and explain that, but yeah, hitori shika inai is there's only one person. Yoku, so often. So yeah, he's often blowing himself up or self destructive. Shiteru present continuous form of suru to do. You'll hear shi put at the end of a lot of different sentences in Japanese. Hitori esen, he's a sadist and a masochist to himself. Ningo, apple. Nigiri, grasping, gripping. Tsubusu is to smash, crush, flatten something. Nigiri tsubusu literally means to crush with one's hands. Shorai, future. No, kind of attaching these two here. It's a particle. You meant dream. So, what's your future dreams? And wa is a subject marker at the end here. So, if you said the full sentence here, it would say, Shorai no yume wa nan desu ka? But here he's just saying, future dream? Shorai no yume wa getsmen de tairyuk sokte shite. Wah, hold on. Yeah, getsmen, the moon's surface. De, stamina, endurance, physical strength. And sokte means like measurement. I think tairyuk sokte is like a school term. Tairyuk sokte. De. Also, this is a very good tip for anyone learning Japanese. If you want to learn something in Japanese and actually just Google it and find Japanese websites, get your Japanese keyboard and type in the Japanese word and then small tsu te. That's kind of like basically saying, what is this? Right there. Sports physical examination. Yeah. Taiyo sokte. Muso tsurukoto. Peerless, unparalleled, matchless. So muso just meaning unparalleled. I guess he's saying to do something unparalleled. Butchake is like frankly, honestly speaking, butchake yabo ambition aspiration. Toka toka often means like for example, it's used so much in Japanese language that it kind of transcends the meaning of for example. Do you have like any aspirations? Frankly speaking, so attari suru comes from the verb aru to exist. This tari suru ending is uh, used quite often as well. Do you like have any aspirations or anything? Toroksha is your subscribers. Please subscribe. Nitoni. Whatever, a trillion? Okay, he wants two trillion subscribers. <laughs> I didn't even know what that was. It's okay to not know stuff. Okay, I'm sorry, is that a dance? I know, gokiburi is a cockroach. Oh, so it's a roach trap. Yeah, that's more hair removal. Hair removal or hair loss. So yeah, is he always ripping off his hair with the gokiburi hoi hoi? Saying there's no way, absolutely not. Who in the world would do that? <laughs> Sometimes it's a really good idea to use the closed captioning, the automatic closed captioning in Japanese videos to study, and also use this little Chrome extension called Nikaikun. If you're not sure what they're saying, can't quite catch it, this is a really good way. And I'm not saying that it's always accurate, but it's usually pretty good. Bogyo, <laughs> 
Yoku. It's really hard to say. Takameru tame ni. So, mushiro, on the contrary. Rather, boku wa, so boku, ni, ai. Bogyo ryoku. So, bogyo, defense. Yoku is power. His defense is power. Takameru tame ni, like to raise it up, to lift it up. Something, something, tame ni is for the sake of that, basically. Takameru tame ni, iku mo shiteimasu. Iku mo shiteimasu. Instead of datsumo, it's iku mo hair restoration. For a second time. Suru to do. Shitai want to do. Shitaku nai is the negative form of want to do, so don't want to do. For a second time, don't want to do planning. Kikaku planning. What is some planning that you don't want to do again for a second time? So, machigai nai means like, oh yeah, uh, unmistakably. I never saw this video, but apparently he made a video where he made a song out of just noises that came out of his mouth. He dropped this wash pan on his head 200 times. So, 落ちる is to fall, come down. 落ちてきた comes from 落ちてくる. Kind of a contraction of 落ちる and くる. 200回頭に落ちてきた企画. So I have the plan to drop this thing on my head 200 times. <laughs> that must be some sort of like Buddhist thing, like saying like moot. So moot is like nothingness or nothing. Ni naru. So become nothing. Basically become nothingness. Or like maybe thoughtless, something like that. Ichiban So that's number one or the most. Dokiri is like a prank, practical joke. Feeling startled, getting shocked. Shikakeyasuihitodare comes from shikakeru, set traps, draw a reaction from. So shikakeyasui is a form of shikakeru, which would mean easy to do. So easy to set these traps on them or draw a reaction from them. Hito is person at the end. And there's no like particle really used here, it's just hito and then dare. But in spoken Japanese, you don't really need the, the particles often. Who is the person who is the easiest to set these traps on? So at, in high school, this yatte part comes from yaru to do something. Oku is part of this. Uh, this ending you hear a lot, which is te oku, kind of in preparation for something. So what should you do in preparation? Yatte oku beki. So beki is the part I just said, should. The whole thing means the thing I should make sure to do in high school. Suki is to like something. Nakoto is something that you like. O is an object particle, so that's used in between skinakoto and kiwameru. And it just means decide, choose, determine, persist in doing. So, nande? Why? Nandemo? Anything? Tsukureru ka? Tsukureru is part of the verb tsukuru, which is to make. And then this is the potential form saying tsukureru. Able to make. Why can you make anything? So, dekiru is to be able to. Made is up until as much as I can. Tsukuritsuzuketeru kara desu. Tsukuritsuzuketeru is to continue to make. Tsukuri comes from tsukuru to make. Tsuzuketeru is to continue. And then it's attaching it by tsukuru's ru, changing that to a bi. Tsukuritsuzuketeru. And he's saying it in the present continuous. Tsukuritsuzuketeru kara desu. Then the kara is kind of a because or so. Komugigo kabutte! Komugigo flower. Kabutte. It's interesting, it comes from this verb for like to put a hat on, put something on someone's head. So he's literally saying, put flower on your head. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. Right, juryoku. Taiken uh, as an experience. So a weightlessness experience. Dekiru tsua. So everything is kind of modifying the next thing coming after it. That's one whole thing. So there's a tour where you can experience weightlessness, and it's saying aru mitai desu ga, aru to exist, mitai desu ga. So it seems that it exists. Shita koto arimasu ka? Did you do this? Shita koto arimasu ka? Tsui de ni bungee jump shite kudasai. Tsui de ni bungee jump shite kudasai. Tsui de ni. It's just also please bungee jump. 
いつか絶対やりたいからやるもう絶対やるわそれはいつか、the first part here、それをいつか絶対やりたいから。So yeah, he definitely wants to do this at some point. それ、that、いつか、some day、絶対、definitely、やりたいから。So やりたい、it comes from やる、to do。And this is, this やりたい form is want to do。In this case, do that weightlessness experience。だから、それまでたくさん。だから、so、それまでたくさん。So until then、それまで、until that。Many, Doga, Doga, Mite, Oench, De, Many videos. Please watch and support me. Oench, De. It can be like cheer on someone literally, but it's also just to support and cheer someone up. He said, Imaga, so right now, Ichiban, the most quiet,、uh, the scariest. So this is scarier than before. Hi, Okaeri. You'll hear Okaeri often in all sorts of different Japanese media and in real life to say just welcome back kind of a thing、uh, or welcome home. You know, welcome back to Terra Firm. Hmm, cool. I would love to do some more of his stuff if you guys want me to. Keep learning Japanese. I hope you like some of the tips I gave you, and we'll see you in the next one.